I finally woke up. <laughs> I always hit the snooze button like a million times. It's 11 o'clock. I hate waking up late. And I always have to pee really bad when I wake up. Which I'm sure is normal. But it's annoying because my room is not attached to my house. So I have to get my keys and then I have to walk all the way to my house to go to the bathroom. I'll show you my room right now. And then I wore these last night to bed, but I never put the toes in. So I just like have like retarded feet forever. Okay, this is my bed. This is my room. It's kind of cramped and small because I technically live like in the garage. But I like the freedom kind of <laughs> my friends don't like me for having these shoes but I like them so I don't care <laughs> okay so there's my house the driveway to go into my house right and there's the back door but I don't like going in through the back door because that goes right into my mom and dad's room and then here's the door to my room kind of looks like a prison uh it's okay I always watch the office but I hate Aaron I can't I can't stand her I don't think her stupidity is funny. I think it's stupid. She doesn't know what's going on. It's so annoying. I hate Erin. She's just a freaking bimbo. And I also feel bad for Will Ferrell because he's really funny. Will Ferrell's really funny. But he couldn't figure out where he fit in the office. Like, he couldn't find his niche. Where he couldn't find out exactly what his character was. And I think that's why he didn't work out. I think that's why he ended up being kind of awkward. And then they had to write him out. It was a hit and miss. So in this episode that I'm watching, Aaron's hiding out in her car because she doesn't want to eat lunch with Gabe, right? And so she tells Jim and Pam to get in her car because she doesn't want Gabe to see her in the car. And they go in. And she starts telling Pam about her relationship problems, how she doesn't want to be with Cape. And then Jim dips, and look what he says. <laughs> Made my day. Sorry, sorry. What's wrong? I eat lunch in the car now. It's my alone time. It's just nice to have some time away from Gabe. Sorry, Gabe. Why don't you want to eat lunch with your boyfriend? I really don't like spending time with him. Don't you think it's better to tell him the truth now, you know, rather than waste more of his time? Story of my life, Jim. Story of my life. More proof of how stupid she is. Dundies. They are magical. But I don't feel it. And I think that's because I'm not with the right person. Gabe. What? We should break up. What? I'm not attracted to you. I just, I cringe when you talk. I have to be honest. Right? Right, Pam? So stupid! She's so Thank stupid. You. It hurts my soul. Eddie's coming over, and then we're gonna go to Project Pie. <laughs> also, every time Eddie sees me, he tackles me. I'm gonna see if I can get that on camera today. Because he doesn't knock, he just bust through the door. He doesn't knock anywhere, actually. He just likes to go into people's houses. <laughs> Always get all the cheese. Pesto smells so good.
I got some really good stuff on my pizza. I'm gonna show you. First off, I couldn't decide what kind of cheese I wanted, so I got all like six cheeses that they have. And I got pesto, mushrooms, tomato. And it looks like you got jalapeno. Yeah, I got jalapeno on mine. And that's not the only difference. Whoops. So this is right, right? Yeah. So this is me and Mags just hanging out. I'm just saying, viewer. Wait, say that again, Eddie. What? Nothing you said about Fatima. Fatima, I forgot that you <laughs> are our first and most loyal fan. <laughs> I just, I want to send a shout out to all the Fatima out there in Santa Cruz. Um... We couldn't have done this without you. Um, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Because <laughs> you're worth it. Oh, yeah. Viewer Lauda. Lauda, thanks for being number two. <laughs> <laughs> Our second fan. Um, did you subscribe yet? Because we don't notice those kinds of things. <laughs> No one's gonna believe that was me. Everyone's gonna believe it was you, especially no. if the hand comes out like this. But here's my regular hand. Go ahead. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> Get it over what, here. What do you want to say? Alright, so when I was little, because <laughs> we just had that nose picking segment. When I was little, I used to keep, I used to cut all my nails, except for this one, Ugh. because this was the best finger to pick your nose oh with. Oh my god. And then if you didn't cut that nail, it worked as a pretty good little scooper. Ew. Yeah. I later found out that people who keep that, this particular nail long, um, they use it for crack. So. <laughs> How old were you when you did that? Uh, pretty little. Well, I, what's little to me? I'm 26 years old. Mm, maybe like, um, hopefully under the age of 10. Let's